This is a review of the Mini Station Wireless Gaming Controller. I've received this product at a discounted price for the purpose of evaluation and review. So you can see right off the bat that it's basically a clone of the Xbox controller in both layout and shape. I would say if there's any difference, it's maybe just a little bit smaller. Um, the buttons on this controller are extremely smooth. You can see that there's no real click. And I don't really want to fight a bear in this review. So well, let's go this way. So you can see that there's no real click on any of the buttons. If anything, maybe just a little bit on the top trigger keys, but not much at all. So it is very smooth. So right now I have it in wired mode, and it does come with a very long micro USB um, braided cable. It's just standard micro USB, so if you wanted to use a shorter cable, you could, but it is nice to have the longer cable if you want to play on your TV. It also comes with a OTG adapter for your phone, two gripping pads that go over the joysticks, which is really nice, and um, of course the wireless dongle. So I'm going to go ahead and move it into wireless mode, and before I do that, I do want to mention that it does work in wired mode without the batteries. So, the batteries go in this top compartment here. You can see the cupboard is completely removable, so that's just something to note so you don't accidentally misplace it. The dongle has a nice little storage compartment at the bottom of the controller there. Once you plug that in, you make the controller up with the middle button and it shows the connection as well as the gaming mode, or the controller mode. So one thing to mention about this controller is that it does come in the de-gaming mode automatically and it is the, the shimput, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's the shimput mode um, that is compatible with most Steam games, most Android games, most of the modern PC games today. So if you plug it in and your controller is not working, you probably just need to change modes. You do that by holding down the middle button for five seconds. And then your controller is nice and functional again. So you can see on the wireless mode here, there's no real lag. Once again, really smooth gameplay. So there's a vibration feature on this controller as well. However, it is very minor. It's a, a very, very low rumble. So that is the Mini Station Wireless Gaming Controller.